Ay, menos mal, es negativo. Nos hemos librado por los pelos, aunque la verdad empezaba a acostumbrarme a la idea de tener un hermanito o hermanita. Peter, no podemos seguir arriesgándonos así. Tienes toda la razón. Lois, hazte una ligadura de trompas. Anda, ¿por qué tengo que hacérmela yo? Hazte tú una vasectomía. En primer lugar, no sé lo que es, y en segundo, no me sale de ahí. Peter, es el equivalente masculino a una ligadura de trompa, solo que es mucho más rápido y seguro. Estos chicos te lo explican. Remember when you twisted up your garden hose? Well, essentially that is the plan. That is the plan. Empiezo a hacerme a la idea, pero cómo se hace? You make a small incision in the scrotal skin. Isolate the vas and isolate the vas and then you hold it in position with a towel clamp. Then you snip the fibrous tissue. Then you snip the fibrous tissue. You'll never have to wear a condom when you do it with your wife or anyone else you do it with. We promise not to tell, like that new hot chick at work. You know the one who always has high beams under a rib, white cotton T-shirt, but then stares daggers at you for checking her out. And it's like, why do you wear that if you don't want attention? But you know you shouldn't think that way because of the sexual harassment meeting you all had to go to. Seriously, how lame was that? And you couldn't help but notice that the female lawyer running the seminar had a huge rack, like ridiculously huge for someone who has to talk about that kind of stuff. Well, I guess that's the definition of the word irony. Goodbye. Say goodbye to manhood. Goodbye. Say goodbye to babies. Goodbye. Say goodbye to kids like Meg. Vacuum out your sack.